What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite news video. But before we go any further guys, do you want to win some cheeky V-Bucks? If so, simply subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to turn notifications on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Wins are picked and contacted via direct message. So good luck everybody. Okay, so on to the video. And for those of you who have signed into Fortnite today already and checked out the news tab, you will see that there is a new item coming to Battle Royale which does spark some interest for sure. It's called the Porte Fort. New portable fort sprouts a quick defensive position up on impact. So basically what this is, it's a portable building for you to use, say last minute to defend yourself or any other time. Damn, I wish I had these in high explosives when I'm getting shot by 50 rockets from all damn directions. Now me personally, I ain't the best or fastest builder. I mean, heck, I'm learning. I can build much quicker than I could two weeks ago, but I'm still way off being a master builder. But even for me, items like this, in my opinion, I don't feel are really needed in the game. I mean, I understand the fact the game is now evolving and getting bigger and bigger by the day, but certain things like weapon mechanics and building mechanics should be left alone or fixed. Having an easy way to defend yourself and last minute against a person who is the better builder and you coming off on top, to me, isn't what Fortnite is all about. For sure, I understand not everybody is a try-hard, sweaty pro comp 720 no scope player. Heck, I can't even do a 360 without getting dizzy and losing track. I just think, yeah, for sure, as much as Fortnite is a real fun game, and I do get mad sometimes, but the rarities of my anger at bursts are never at being outplayed. They normally come from Bullet Bloom or something like that. If someone outplays me, then fair play to them, I would admit it that they are the better player. Now this fort itself might not be a bad addition, but it's the start of something which might indeed be. If this thing takes off, what's going to come next? Auto turrets? I think you guys understand my point. I might be jumping the guns here, it's just uh, my point of view uh, as what I can see happening. I've seen many many great games ruined by updates, not really needed. I love the fact Epic are trying to keep things fresh, they are doing an absolutely amazing job. Let's hope I am wrong on this one. Now this actual porter fort, like I said, when thrown or placed, it builds you an instant fort, no doubt. Well I say instant, but I actually have a feeling that once you place this, it will build like a standard building would which means it will be much easier to take out once placed and is still in that building stage. So what kind of fort will this port fort offer? Well if we take a closer look we can actually see what I believe will be the fort this thing will indeed build upon being placed or thrown and it's this very one we see on screen now. You see many of these forts within the last parts of the match normally on hilltops and they give you a major advantage in many different scenarios. It's why they are so popular and it's no doubt why this port of fort might indeed spawn one. So yeah guys, the port of fort is coming soon. As soon as it lands, no doubt you're going to have some great fun with it. Or maybe not. Moving on, and this week's challenges have been leaked. So these will be season 3 week 8 challenges and they are coming this Thursday. The challenges are, use a vending machine, you need to do this once. Deal damage with explosive weapons to opponents, 500 in total. Search chests in snobby shores, 7 chests needed here. Visit different tackle shops in a single match, 3 tackle shops needed here. Search between 3 bolts and eliminate opponents in dusty depot. So quite easy if you ask me. Guides on Reset Day will be found on my channel here, so remember to subscribe if you are new around here. Okay, so we're going to move on and lastly let's talk about the recent Raven outfit. Now I made a joke uh, on Twitter saying it was Zer and D2 is so bad now, even Zer is playing Fortnite and it kind of caught on. But in fact, this Raven outfit isn't based on Zer at all. Fans of Epic Games will know exactly who and what this is based on. Epic's other game, Paragon. Within this game, it has a hero called Revenant, seen on screen now. This Raven costume is actually a skin for Revenant, also seen on screen now, the Raven Quill skin. And it does look super cool for sure. And this guys is where the Raven outfit originally came from, not there or anything else, just something from one of Epic's other games. On that note guys, I am out. If you guys did enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Fortnite videos, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.